Hello everyone. Today we are going to design a beam for torsion. Let us read the question and write the given data. Design a rectangular beam section of width 250 mm and effective depth 500 mm. The width B is 250 and the effective depth D is 500. Let us assume that the effective cover D as 40 mm. So the overall depth D will be 500 plus 40. We will get 540 mm. Subjected to an ultimate movement of 160 kN m. Ultimate shear force of 30 kN. And ultimate torsional movement of 10 kN m. Use concrete M20 and steel FE415. FCK is 20 and FOE is 415. The first step in the design is to find the bending moment for design. In the IS456 codebook, we have to open page number 75. Using this formula, we can find the moment MT. In this, when we apply all of the values for MT, we will get 18.59. The ultimate moment is greater than MT. In this case, we have to design a singly reinforced beam. We know that in singly reinforced beam, only tension reinforcement is enough. No compression reinforcement is required. However, we can provide two numbers of 12 mm diameter bars as hanger bars to support the stirrups. Using this formula, we can find the equivalent movement ME. For ME, we will get 178.59. Now we are going to find the area of the steel reinforcement. In the code book from the page 96, we can copy this formula. In the formula, instead of MU, we have to apply ME. We have to apply this in Newton millimeter so that we have to multiply with 10 power 6. Finally, we will get this equation. Using a calculator, we can solve this. For AST, we will get this. Alternatively, we can find AST directly. If you can memorize this formula, we can find AST very easily. In the formula, after applying all of the values for AST, we will get this. Let us provide four numbers of 20 mm diameter bars so that the provided AST will be 1256.64 mm square which is more than the required AST. Now we are going to provide the torsional reinforcement. In the code book, we have to open the page number 47. When the cross-sectional dimension of the member exceeds 450 mm, additional longitudinal bars shall be provided. It should be according to the class 26.5.1.3, which is also available in the page number 47. In this design, the overall depth D is 540 mm, which is more than 450. So we have to provide torsional reinforcement. The total area of such reinforcement shall be not less than 0.1% of the web area. Let us keep the area as 0.1%, but we have to apply on both of the sides. 0.1 upon 2, we will get 0.05. Let us find the area 0.05 upon 100 into B into D. We will get 67.5. Let us provide two numbers of 8 mm diameter bars on each side. So the provided area will be 100.53 mm square. Now we are going to do the design for shear. In the code book from the page number 75, we have to copy this formula. In this formula, BE is the equivalent shear. In this, let us apply all of the values. We have to apply the width of B in meter 250 upon 1000. We will get 0.25 meter. For BE, we will get 94 kN. In the code book from the page number 72, we can copy this formula. But in the formula, instead of tau V, we have to apply tau VE. VE is 94 kN. We know that 1 kilo is 1000. 
for tau ve we will get 0.76 now using this formula we have to find the percentage of steel in tension the provided ast is 1256.64 mm square for pt we will get 1 in the code book we have to open page number 73 for pt we have got 1 our fck is 20 so we have to select this value tau c is 0 0.62 tau ve is greater than tau c in this case a shear reinforcement is required let us provide two liquid stirrups at 8 mm diameter so the area of the vertical stirrups will be 100.5 mm square we are going to design the spacing for the stirrups in the code book we have to open the page number 47 we can copy this formula from these two terms we can take sv upon 0.87 fy outside we can take this term on the other side it will come in the numerator and if we can take this term on the other side it will come in the denominator let us see what is b1 and d1 b1 is the center to center distance between corner bars in the direction of the width d1 is the center to center distance between the corner bars in the direction of the depth we know that it is the distance of center to center of the corner bars along the breadth the effective cover is 40 so to get to b1 from the width 250 we have to subtract 2 into 40 so that we will get 170 millimeter in the similar way d1 is the center to center distance of the corner bars along the depth the effective cover is 40 so to get to d1 from the overall depth d we have to subtract 2 into 40 in this way for d1 we will get a 460 in this let us apply all of the values tu is in kilonewton meter we have to apply in newton millimeter so that we have to multiply with the 10 power 6 and to vu is a 30 kilonewton we have to apply in newton we know that 1 kilo is 10 power 3 for the spacing we will get 235.67 one more time we have to find the spacing let us copy this we can modify this formula like this after applying all of the values we will get 1036 millimeter which is more than 235.67 millimeter in these two we have to select the minimum value which is 235.67 now let us apply the check for spacing the spacing of the stirrups should not exceed the least of x1 x1 plus y1 upon 4 and 300 millimeter this is the value we have found out of these four we have to take the minimum value let us see how to find x1 and y1 x1 is the center to center distance of the stirrup bar along the breadth to find x1 with the b1 we have to add these two distances this distance will be the half diameter of the tension rebar 20 upon 2 plus the half diameter of the stirrup bar so 8 by 2 and this distance will be 20 upon 2 plus 8 by 2 because both of the distances are same 8 upon 2 plus 8 upon 2 it will be 8 20 upon 2 plus 20 upon 2 it will be 20 when we add these three we will get x1 y1 is the center to center distance of the stirrups along the depth to find y1 with the d1 we have to add these two distances this distance will be half diameter of the tension reinforcement bar so 20 by 2 plus half diameter of the stirrup bar this distance will be half diameter of the hanger bar so 12 by 2 plus half diameter of the stirrup so 8 by 2 20 upon 2 it will be 10 8 upon 2 plus 8 upon 2 it will be 8 12 upon 2 it will be 6 for y1 we will get 484 millimeter 
x1 is 198, x1 plus y1 upon 4, we will get 170.5. Out of these 4, we have to select the minimum value. 170.5 is the minimum one. Let us round that to 170. So let us provide two legged 80 millimeter diameter stirrups at the spacing of 170 millimeter. Here you can see the reinforcement details. In the tension zone, we have provided four numbers of 20 millimeter diameter bars. In the compression side, we have provided two numbers of hanger bars, 12 millimeter diameter. For torsion, on both of the sides, we have provided two numbers of 8 millimeter diameter bars. And for the stirrups, we have provided two legged stirrup at a diameter of 8 millimeter and at the spacing of 170 millimeter. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.